Hi, we have a fairly straightforward problem over here and it says a student crazed with final exams used a force P of magnitude 97 to push a 4 kilogram block across the ceiling across this room as shown here. The angle between the horizontal and the direction of the force is 70 degrees so it's, it's um, so this part right here is 70 degrees. So I'm just going to call that theta equals 70. 70 degrees. So if the coefficient of kinetic friction between the block and the surface is, um, is um, 0.40, what is the magnitude of the acceleration of the block? Well, keep in mind that um, these red numbers are different, are probably different for you. So use yours instead of mine. Set that like like in every single video is of mine. So if if this is the first video that you watch, then and if you're gonna wa watch other videos of mine, then then you're gonna you're gonna hear me say this multiples of times. Okay. So let let's work on this problem. Well, in, to begin with, let's draw a free body diagram. Okay. So we have our block, and let's name all the forces. Well, we have we have a we have a force going this way. Well, okay. Instead of that way, I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm gonna say a force is going this way and this way. So those two ways. So how what how, what is a force in in those two direction? Well, we can figure out using like the Pythagorean theorem. So so if we have a vector. So let me let me go to a side go to the side. And if we have a vector that's going this way, then we're gonna have a we're gonna have a vector that's going this way, and we're gonna have a vector that's going this way. So this this vector right here or this vector right here is gonna be this one, and this vector right here is gonna be this one. So so this is the this is basically saying this is this part right here is 70, 70 degrees. So so let me let me let me turn on my calculator. Let me start my calculator. Okay. So how how do we solve this problem? Well, let's let's see. Um, okay, so it's using ninety seven newtons. So this hypotenuse is going to be ninety seven because he's pushing it like in a direction. And if you remember from trig, we have Sokatoa. Sokatoa. And and you're looking at the, if you're looking at this one this one right here then it's it's this is adjacent to this angle so it's going to be so it's going to be adjacent and hypotenuse that we're dealing with so it's going to be cosine so cosine so let me write this in a different color so cosine of of 70 is going to equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse so x is going to say this this side is x so x over um, um, x over 97. So you just multiply 97 by cosine 70. So let's let's go ahead and do that. And make sure your calculator is in degree mode. So I'm just gonna make sure that so you see it's in degree mode. So so cosine of 70 times 97, and I get 33. So x is 33. So let me let me write this down. So 30. 33 newtons this way. Okay, now in order to figure out why, you just you just do the same thing, but why it's going to be opposite of hypotenuse. So you just do sine. I'm not going to write that down, but well, okay, I'll, I'll just write it down. I'll just write it down. Okay. So x is 33. Okay, and then sine of 70. Sine of 70 equals y. I'm going to call this y. So y. So opposite, opposite of 70 over the hypotenuse, 97. So if you multiply 97 of each side, you get 97 times the sine of 70. So 97 times sine of 70, and you get 91. So y equals 91. So let's put that there. So this is 91 newtons. And let, let, let's figure out some other forces that, that, that are acting upon here. Well, there's the force of... There's a force of gravity, which is mg, and there's a force of friction, which is um, going 
going on the opposite direction. So this is so so this is moving to the right. This is moving to the to the so let me let me write this down. So so this is moving to the right. So direction of motion. So this is gonna be positive. That's the direction of motion. So the friction is gonna be moving this way because uh, friction always goes the opposite of the direction. So uh, this is gonna equal to this is, I'm just gonna say friction of the kinetic motion. So friction of kinetic. Okay, now we have all the forces. Now we, we have to solve for the acceleration of the block. So let me, okay. All right, so let's figure out, let's figure out if, um, let's figure out how much friction there is. Well, uh, actually, let, uh, I forgot one force, uh, which is the normal force. The normal force goes this way, and it's equal to 91. And 90, yeah, it's equal to 91 newtons, the y. So before we do that, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, store this into y and x. Uh, and 33.1759539. Store that to x. Okay. So we have that stored. Um, okay, that's wrong. So let me let me store this again. So one seven three three one seven five nine five three nine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna store that to x. Okay. So now we have. Wait. Okay. Well, maybe maybe it was quicker if I just did thirty three times cosine of seventy again, and then I store that to x. So I should have done that. Okay. Wait. Oh, I mean 97 times cosine. Okay, I'm really sleepy right now, so I'm sorry for making so many mistakes. Uh, please excuse me. So I'm going to store that to x. There we go. Now that's better. Okay. So, so what is what is our what is our kinetic friction? What is our kinetic friction? Well, it's calculated by mu of friction times the normal force. And what is our normal force? Well, it's 91 newtons. So, so we can solve for we can solve for our kinetic friction. And what is our um, mu? Well, it's uh, 0 0.4. It, the the question is also that it's 0 0.4. So it's 0 0.4 times times 91 newtons. So we get so we get um, 91 times 0 0.4. So we get 36.4. 36.4 newtons. For the kinetic friction, so this is going to equal to thirty-six point four. Crap. Thirty-six point four. Except that's not the right answer because um, it's because ninety-one newtons cancel out m with mg. So so let's calculate out calculate mg and um, we're gonna have to use that as the as the um as a newton because because it's not because like if no other forces were acting upon this um besides this force and this purple force this this cyan force and this purple force then then it would it would equal to this but since it has gravity working on it as well we have to account for that and and in order to account for that we can just do 91 91 minus 91 91 minus mg which is uh which is um 4 kilogram times 4 times 9.8 9.8 is equal to so this is going to be the normal force so this is going to be the normal the force of normalness as i call it is is equal to right over here so the force of normalness 91 minus 4 times 9.8 51.8 so that's the force of normalness and and let's plug 51.8 in in the place of 91 because 51.8 is the normal force and it makes sense because it's smaller than this because gravity is pulling on this which means the the contact force between the ceiling and the block is less so let's 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 use that so we do 58.1 times times the mu which is 
which is 20.72. So this is actually, let me change this real quick. So this is actually point, point 0.4 times 50, 51.8. It's going to be 20.772. 20.72. All right. So now we have our normal force. Uh, I mean, we have our we have our frictional force, which is 20 se 20 20.72. So 20. We have our true frictional force. 72. Okay. Now we can just look at the, our horizontal horizontal components here and try to figure figure out what the surplus is. Well, it's going to the right at 33 and going left at 20.72 so 33 we're just going to subtract so 33 minus the answer is 12.28 and because because that's a force that's in newtons so for let me write this down so force equals ma and we know that the mass is four kilograms we can just divide the force by the mass so just tw 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 this is a force and divide by four and we get 3.07 as the acceleration so that's Type that in to the web assign and see if it's right. And it is correct. So, so here it is. So the answer is 3.07 for me. For me. So you might you might get a different answer. But the method is the same, except except the little thing. Like re remember to do like on the test, remember to do if if it's like on the ceiling, then remember to do like the gravity, unless um there is no gravity, of course, but that's only in space. Well, I mean, there is gravity in space, but um, like you can't feel the effect. Well, I, I mean, you can feel the effects of gravity, but you're in free fall, so it's basically non non-existent. So um, I hope it helped you a little bit, at least. I, I hope I didn't confuse you more, though. Yeah.